everybody, Tim here. Uh, just decided to do this right now in my car. Actually, it's my wife's car, so she'll probably appreciate this. <laughs> my car's in the shop. But anyways, I went to Best Buy to pick up my pre-orders for a few things, and I wanted to share with you the things that I got. Uh, I don't usually do this, so I feel kind of weird sitting in the parking lot, but I wanted to do it now before I had to go back to work because I'm on my lunch break. Figured I'd show some of these things off. Uh, maybe do a little, I guess, unboxing in the car. So, but first I wanted to show you some of the Amiibos I picked up. I picked up the uh, Super Smash Bros. Byleth. So I got that. So kind of hard to show because of the steering wheel in the box, but there, that's it fits in pretty well. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm surprised they didn't do the player one, player two option type of thing where you've got the male male version of Byleth and then the uh, uh, female version. And then of course I picked up Banjo Kazooie. I had to get that as well. Um, although I will be the first to admit I never played the game. So, but I've been told of how I can. I, um, so I'm looking at ways of doing that. So give it a try. And then of course I got this. Terry Bogard. I think that's his last name. So, got that Amiibo. And then, finally, the big thing that I've been looking forward to is the Monster Hunter Rise Collector's Edition with the Amiibo in there. So, there's the box, there's the Amiibo in there inside. The thing is huge. And there's the box. And all that kind of stuff. And I figured, you know what? Might as well, I'm going to open up this one in the car while I'm here opening it up right now so I can show you guys what's in the box what's in the box all right cool so this is in here amiibo by itself so I probably could buy this by itself somewhere else uh, I think you can get it sold separately because there's a couple others I need to get to but I can't find them right now and then it comes with stickers. So cool. Very cool. All kinds of stickers there. And then I'll open that up in a minute. And then it comes with a pin. The emblem from the game. So there you go. Pretty cool. I like it. And I got some people parked next to me. They're probably like, oh, that guy's doing a TikTok video. <laughs> And there's the game. So just the regular game that's on the shelf. Um, one of the things though I wanna see is, get this back in here so I can be able to put this back in the box to get home. See if I can get this open. Usually I could just break that open there. And I don't have any keys near me. I need something sharper here. There we go. Quarter worked. <laughs> All right, let's get that open. I want to see if there's any art on the inside. You know a company takes the time with their game if they put some art on the inside. At least, I mean, the packaging. Nope. No art. Just your simple 90-day simple limited warranty stuff in the game. And then, of course, because this is a deluxe edition inside the collector's edition box it comes with some uh, a code as well for uh, the Kamara Kamari Hunter layered armor set and yes I am a noob when it comes to monster hunter stuff so but I'm looking forward to diving in uh, and we're playing with the community whoever's playing I hope you guys are playing and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing um, of the Monster Hunter Rise Collector's Edition box that came with the Amiibo. I'm really excited about this and I hope I get some time later today, if not for sure this weekend, to dive in and play. And I'm also looking forward to playing with the community because it's multiplayer online. So, but real quick before I go, here's the stickers. Got the, the cat type companion, the dog type companion, and I gotta figure out what I can make my own uh, 
uh, Monster Hunter dock with these stickers, right? Put all these on my on my dock. So there's this uh, character. I have no idea who this is, but I love the artwork. This is one of the monsters. That might be what the other one is. It's just different artwork of the different monsters. That's what it is. I don't know what these monsters' names are yet. I'm just learning. Oh, this is the big, the big one. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, his or her name. Because in the animal kingdom, I've always learned that the female is usually the bigger of the, the two. Because she's probably protecting her young. So, but very cool. Very cool. I love the artwork. It kind of gives me an Okami kind of feel to it too as well. This just looks like a little raccoon. And then of course Monster Hunter Rise. And there you have it. That's what's in the collector's edition. That's what I got. And if you are getting in the game, make a comment in below and come join us in the Discord if you're not already there. And let's get together and play. Because that would be awesome. Especially come teach me. <laughs> All right. This is Tim signing off. And don't forget to check us out every week on our podcast. We have all kinds of podcasts. Nintendo Dads. Dads After Dark. Uh, Dad Crossing. Retro Logic, uh, just all kinds of things that you're interested in. You don't have to listen to us all, but you, you know, check us out and see if any of us, any of our podcasts, uh, reach out to you. Again, this is Tim signing off, and thanks for watching. Bye.